and welcome to Nicole's New York. Today is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Uh, this is a video podcast about my stitching, quilting, knitting, and sewing projects. And I can be found on Instagram, Ravelry, and now Goodreads at Nicole's New York. And shoutouts can be found on my blog, Nicole's New York. Com. So it's been probably about six weeks since I've done a video. Um, not quite a lot going on. Um, my husband and I did go down to Florida to see my mom and dad, and we stayed a couple days at the beach. But other than that, just working and just hanging out at home um, and doing all the crafty things. I've got Ginger here. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> she's, she's right there. Um, so I have been, uh, knitting quite a bit. Um, when I went down to Florida, I brought some knitting with me and I actually finished, um, one thing on my way home. And that is this, make sure I have it the right way. This first light, the first light shawl. And this is by Vera Valmacki. And the yarn I used is Hedgehog Fibers sock and this is uh, film noir and then madeline tosh twist light and leopard and so i have these in my stash and thought they would look good with this shawl i just need to wash it and block it still so i'll get that done soon yeah happy how that turned out and then i had another knitting finish i finally finished my um hourglass throw and this is by Ann Hansen for Brooklyn Tweed Yarn. And the yarn I used is Shelter by Brooklyn Tweed. And the colorway is Faded Quilt. So yeah, very happy with how that turned out. Um, the only problem is I can't leave it out because Ginger absolutely loves it. And she starts digging at it. So unfortunately, has to be put away for now. Um, and then I uh, decided to start another shawl. Um, and this is one I've wanted to uh, work on for quite a while. It is the Aisling shawl. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I just decided to do um, one color instead of two colors. Oops. <clears throat> And I am using Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light, and this is the Elizabeth Taylor colorway. It's kind of a pinky purple. And let's see, so here's where I'm at. It's just a lot of eyelets, and then you have like a garter ridge. And then at the end, you do a cable border, which is what I'm excited to get to. So yeah. It's just gonna be, I think it's just gonna be like a crescent shape. So and there's, so I think it's gonna call for two skeins. So I've got my extra skein there. And then um, I decided to start a sweater. <laughs> Um, and it's kind of a lightweight summer, summery sweater because it uses silk yarn. And that's what it looks like. And this is the um, Westbourne Kinu Love sweater by Isabel Kramer. And it calls for this Kino Ito. Ito? No, Ito, Kinu Ito. And this is a Japanese silk yarn. Um, and it comes on these cones. Um, so, and I'm doing um, this blue, which is navy. And then I'm doing this, it's kind of like a oatmeal color took the tag off, so I'm not exactly 100% sure of the color name. Let me see if I can get 
this right, okay. So I'm working, so I separated for the sleeves and now I'm working down. So we'll see how it'll look on me. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not gonna be too big. I don't think it will be because it's supposed to be kind of loose, lightweight, summery. Um, so we shall see. Um, yeah, got a little ways to go and I'm almost done with one cone and I have three cones in my stash. I got this at uh, Luna Lola, the yarn shop that was in Columbia. And this is just in my Blackbirds bag. I got it, Shepherd's Bush. So that's it for my knitting. And I do have a little bit of stitching to share and I've got my projects and my project bags here. Um, trying to think, I'll just go through and kind of pull out be random. Um, so I ended up getting, ended up getting um, Hannah Campbell 1838 by Hands Across the Sea. I just really, I don't know, I really like the uniqueness of this sampler. It has a lot of different elements like the diamond shaped alphabet and um, I just thought it was really neat. So I ended up getting that and I decided to use some linen from my stash. And this is 40 count vintage sand dune by Lakeside Linens. And I'm using all the called for. Other Swa, Swa 103s, and then there's a metallic in there. Because in the original sampler it used beads, but um, Nicola decided to chart it for this metallic. So yeah, these colors are really pretty. And this is in my um, French General um, La Grande Soiree fabric. So I recently sold some of these and kept a couple for myself. All right, and then um, another new chart I got is Blackbird Designs. Crowns and shields. I'm making this one. I really like this. And it calls for 32 count Heartland. Well, I had a piece of 40 count and now I'm kind of wondering if that was a good idea because there is a lot of over one in here. So I worked a little bit on this over one there but I really think this linen's pretty. So maybe if I use my magnifier, my extra strong magnifying glasses, we'll see. Or I may just switch out the linen. I'm still thinking about it, but it's so pretty. And here are the threads in my, this is my Blackbird Designs bag. <coughs> And this is Amanda Malvini Brown. I think I worked on this just a tiny bit. Yeah, I literally just worked on this little pot right here. I think that's it. But I really wanna get back to this one and get it finished. This is by Hands Across the Sea. And this is 46 count creme brulee by Tabby Cat Linens. And I'm using all the called for Avera Soie, Soie 103 silks. And this is a Three Sisters Altier. And here's another um, of the French General La Grande Soiree. And this is the red. I love this. It's so pretty. Of course, it's got 
cat fur on it. Um, <clears throat> this one is Alice Clark, but I have not worked on this. Another one I'd love to get back to. I might as well show my little progress. This is one of those, just testing to see what the fabric looks like. And this is 46 count old sheet by XJU Designs. And I have another little bag. This one got really wrinkled though. So, did not turn out great, but that's okay. It's just for me. Okay, so this one is a restart. And this, let me see if I can find the cover. Here we go. Is a peacock, a unicorn, a badger by the Scarlet Letter. So when I went to Florida in January, met up with Teresa, Kitten Stitcher, and Susie, Susie Reno, um, Teresa was working on this. And I kind of fell in love with hers because I started this using DMC and there's absolutely nothing wrong with DMC, absolutely nothing at all. But I just loved the thickness of the silks. And I contemplated doing like Emily C, um, doing two strands of DMC on 36 count. Um, but it was just hard for me to get used to the coverage and it just felt a little too bulky for me. Um, so I decided to shamelessly copy Teresa and I ended up ordering 40 count natural linen from her shop, kittenstitcher.com. And I got, I had some of the silks and got the rest of the silks I needed. So, and I'm just loving the coverage and how it looks using the Avera Soi Soi Dalje. It just, it looks so pretty. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Definitely want to get back to that one too. So, <laughs> Teresa had laid it on the couch and went to bed and I picked it up and took a picture and yeah, I knew it was all over after I held it in my hands. And here's all the threads. So. Very pretty. And this is in another Three Sisters. This is Daybreak by Three Sisters. And then I worked a little bit on Blackboard Designs, Coming of the Bees. And, oops, kind of wrinkled. But I worked on the house a little bit. I finished this pot here and then started on the house. And this is on 36 Count Heartland by Picture This Plus. And I'm using all the call for threads. And this is in my Blackbirds Autumn Lily bag. And this is from the Threads That Bind parchment sampler fabric. And Elizabeth Furness, I'm not sure if I worked on this since my last video. I worked on it so much in March that I took a little break from it. But definitely, definitely want to get back to it.
working on the windows there. So that's where I'm at. I started on the house. I'm working on doing the window panes there. Yeah, I love that red house, it's so pretty. It's just like a perfect red. And this is 40 count vintage sand dune by Lakeside Linens. Near the Avera Soie, Soie d'Alger. And this is in another French general bag, Bon Hour de Jour, probably butchering that. But yeah, I love these. I love these colors. Love French general. Um, let me see. Two more. I didn't think I worked on this much, but I guess so. Um, I got back out in Grimshaw and I've been loving seeing Carol's progress, Carol Saltbox Stitcher. She'll have this done in no time. And I just worked on a couple motifs on the bottom there. And this is 40 Count American Chestnut by r, &R. And I'm using the Avera Soie Soie Delche and Noir. Very pretty, a lot of pretty projects going. And this is in my stitch bulk bag. And then last, I decided to start this Brenda Gervais at home. This is the kit we got at the Country Sampler Retreat last year. So pretty. So it should be coming out maybe sometime in the summer. Um, and I decided to start it on 40 Count Latte by Fiber and a Whim. And that's the back. <laughs> So that's all I have. Just a tiny start. Basically seeing how the colors looked on this linen and I really like it. I love this linen. And then here are all the threads. So I think it's gonna be pretty. That's it for stitching. Um, <laughs> ginger's in my basket. Um, as far as quilting goes, I did get my kaleidoscope quilt back from um, Keystone Sisters Quilting. Um, and I ended up putting the binding on and giving it to my dad for his 80th birthday. So I will insert a picture of it here. Um, it turned out really pretty and definitely the biggest quilt I've ever done. Um, so I was very glad to have it finished and my dad really liked it. He was very happy with it. Um, so other than that, I basically just been making project bags for as far as sewing goes. I made this little project bag to hold my iPad and it just holds my iPad mini. Um, and I use my iPad mini for patterns and reading. It's great for reading books. Um, and <clears throat> so it just goes in here and then I can just put it in my purse and know it's protected. Um, So I have been in the 
2022 Designer Mystery Block of the Month Club. So I have all the months, all 12. It just uh, ended like I just received the last kit the other day. The, and I also got, when I first signed up, the finishing kit. So it comes with all the fabric needed to complete the quilt um, and to make these bonus squares here. So I decided to start it today and I got the first block finished. So yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. And I'm excited to work on the second block. And this is, um, so the first block is by Camille Ross Kelly. And um, it's her fabric, Nantucket Summer. So she got to do the first block. And then the second block is this one. I'm not gonna show them all. And here's the third block. So all unique. And then this is how they kit them up with the fabric. And there's always leftover fabrics. So I had plenty left over from the first block, which was good because I made a mistake. <laughs> I accidentally, these are supposed to be on the vertical and I did them horizontal. And I'm like, no, that's not gonna work. But I had plenty um, to recut these blocks. So yeah, really happy with that. I think it's gonna be a really pretty quilt. And um, I did see some finished pictures on Instagram and I'll post a link to that. So yeah, I think that is it. Um, I do really wanna get back to some stitching, not exactly sure what I'm gonna work on. I think I might work on Hannah Campbell by Hands Across the Sea. And that is this one. Um, so yeah, I went from working on one thing to work in on a bunch of different things. So you never know with me, um, but hope you guys are having a good spring and I will talk to you guys soon.